Unit 1. In Unit 1, we will learn about creation, growing up in Christ Jesus. God created everything in heaven, on the earth, and in the seas. He created man in his own image on the sixth day. This makes man a very special creation. God gave man power over the birds, fish, animals, plants, and all the things that he created. God knew us even before we were born. He formed us in our mother's wombs. He fearfully and wonderfully created us. Let us now look at gender roles. A role is any activity that you do as part of your duty at home or at school. In traditional African societies, boys and girls had different roles. Boys were given roles like grazing animals, slashing grass, hunting, fishing, milking cows, while girls were given roles like cooking, fetching water and firewood, sweeping the homestead, taking care of the young ones, cleaning the house, and working in the garden. Remember that we should not discriminate boys and girls because they are all equal in God's eyes. In Galatians chapter 3 verse 28, the Bible says, There is no difference between male and female, slaves and free men, nor between Jews and Gentiles. Today, boys and girls do the same things. For example, they receive the same education in schools, they share jobs like cleaning the compound and shopping. Growing to maturity, physical growth. This is the growth of the body. A person begins to grow as a tiny cell in the womb. He or she becomes a fetus and after nine months, a baby is born. After birth, the baby grows physically, emotionally, socially, morally, and psychologically. A person begins to have physical changes during adolescence from the age of 13 years. Some of the physical changes during adolescence in girls include increase in size, weight and height, growth of the breasts on the chest, hips broaden, pimples may appear on the face, growth of the pubic hair on the pubic area and under the armpits. The menstrual flow begins. Some of the changes in boys during adolescence include increase in size, weight, and height, the voice breaks, they experience wet dreams, the chest and shoulders broaden, the growth of beards, hair grows on the pubic area and on the chest, the Adam's apple may enlarge, emotional growth. Emotions are the feelings in us. Examples of emotions are joy, anger, happiness, sadness, fear, and love. The Holy Spirit helps us to have the good emotions and control the bad ones. Do you know the fruits of the Holy Spirit? They are love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. We should pray to God to give us the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Boy and girl relationships in traditional African view and Christian teaching. Traditional African view on boy-girl relationships. In traditional African societies, boys and girls worked and played separately. They were not allowed to engage in sex before marriage and other immoral activities. They were taught good morals by their elders. Boys and girls should live pure lives. This means that they should not engage in sex before marriage. God wants us to enjoy our youth responsibly. The Holy Spirit gives us self-control to live responsibly. Effects of a responsible boy-girl relationship. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We should use them to glorify God. If we misuse our bodies, we can contract sexually transmitted infections like HIV and AIDS. It can lead to early pregnancies, dropping out of school, and also lead to prostitution and homosexuality, leaving what we believe. Stephen was one of the seven deacons chosen to help in distributing food to the needy in the early church. 
He was full of God's power and the Holy Spirit. He performed many signs and wonders. Those who did not like Stephen arrested him and took him to the council where they had false witnesses. Stephen was stoned to death. He died for his love for Christ. A person who dies because of his faith is called a martyr. God wants us to live a life of faith.